the game tonight and playing against the team that's supposed to be, you know, the best team in the NBA right now? Um, you know, we just came out to uh, stick to the game plan, play together. Um, you know, uh, got two of our guys down with uh, injuries right now, and, uh, you know, we had the next man up mentality, and uh, coaches did a good job of uh, preparing us, and uh, we went out and executed it. Um, the guys are coming off the bench, getting a little more opportunity, uh, came in and played really well. Um, on the defensive end, uh, which allowed us to uh, open it up a little bit uh, in, in the second half. So uh, it was a good game for us. You guys kind of have a chip on your shoulder because you lost Kawhi and people say, well, they're not that good anymore. No, we're not worried about that. You know, we don't really uh, listen to, you know, the outside. You know, we stick to the internal um, with our beliefs and what we know we can do. Um, we know we got guys to, to go out there and compete um, on a high level, you know, and um, we believe in ourselves. That's all that matters. It doesn't matter. Uh, what anybody else is saying, you know, um, those guys made decisions for themselves, their personal decisions. There's no grudges or hard feelings for that, you know. Um, this what comes with with uh, the business of basketball, you know. So um, we're just going out there and trying to uh, play Raptors basketball every single time we step on the court. No, was tonight a case maybe that the, the starters kind of fed off the bench a bit? I mean, it was even, and then they came in for a bit there, and, and the whole game seemed to switch. Um, I think uh, we did a we did a good job uh, on both sides, you know. Um, you know, their starters are really good, you know, and uh, I thought we uh, did a good job of hanging in there, staying with the uh, with the with the runs that they had, the many runs that they had, and um, you know, we just kept chipping away at it, you know, and uh, the guys off the bench did, a, did what they were supposed to do, come in and provide that spark um, and play hard, uh, play aggressive, um, and not back down. You know, I think uh, top to bottom, we didn't have back, back down, we went out there and attacked them. You've been a guy who's had to wait for his opportunity. What, what's it mean to you when you see a guy like, you know, like Chris Boucher and, and Rondé come in and have a game like tonight? It means everything. You know, I talk to Chris, I talk to Rondé uh, on a daily basis, you know, about uh, uh, keeping their mental uh, focus, keeping uh, themselves ready, you know, for their opportunity to come. You know, uh, I talk to them a lot, and it was my guys. Um, they talk to me, um, so I'm really excited for them and really happy for those guys. What's up, Tumbo? Uh, I'm really excited for those guys, you know, they came in there and um, did their thing, you know, taking advantage of the opportunity, you know, and I'm just telling them to, to stay ready, um, to keep the same focus, keep the same energy, and uh, keep chipping away at it. You guys doubled uh, Anthony Davis early. Well, you guys really doubled Anthony Davis early, mm -hmm. and I don't know if that's what kind of disrupted their ball movement as the mm -hmm. game went on, but... It, they, they were the ball was not moving on their side very much how much of that was um I, I think we did a great job you know we wanted to come at them early you know uh, let them know that we're gonna attack them be aggressive and it's not gonna be easy for them you know um, so we really want to the, to make them make plays and um, everything they were doing was really tough you know so um uh, the high hands the the length that we had uh, i think uh slowed them up a little bit um and uh allowed them to have to work for everything that they were doing so um it was just a great game plan of going out there, main guys, making them work for it for the full 48. It's kind of a thing when the NBA, I mean, there's so many good players in the NBA, a lot of them don't get a chance to play. Mm -hmm. You know, so when they do get the minutes, like, like Chris and, 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 um, and some of the others tonight, I mean, is that the... Is that a league-wide thing? you think there are a lot of guys like that when they get that opportunity, they can just... Uh, yeah, for sure. You know, um, I, I've been one of those guys, you know, having to wait. I mean, my five years here, you know, I've always had to, to wait, to work, um, and to continue to, uh, to get better and be uh, prepared and ready to go out there for my opportunity. Um, so, I mean, top to bottom around this league, you know, you got... Um, um, these guys who are the best in the world, you know, and they're sitting behind some of the guys that are the best in the world, you know, so um, you just got to prepare yourself and be ready for your opportunity. And when you get it, you know, you just take off with it and take advantage of that.